In this video, we are going to describe mannitol salt auger. Mannitol salt auger is an auger that is very useful for the identification of gram-positive organisms, especially differentiating between our different kinds of staph species. You won't find mannitol salt auger on your flow chart, but that does not mean that it's not a really useful auger and one that I would expect for you to use during your unknowns. Here is an uninoculated mannitol salt auger. As you can see, it is completely clear and it is a bright red, almost kind of pink, sometimes a little bit of a reddish orange in color. Mannitol salt is both selective and differential. It's selective for gram-positive halophiles and inhibits the growth of gram-negatives. And it's differential based on mannitol fermentation. So for the selective qualities of this auger, mannitol salt auger contains salt. 7.5% sodium chloride, which is a really high salt concentration. That salt concentration is inhibitory to all of the gram-negative bacteria that we work with in this lab, and it's also inhibitory to a lot of gram-positives, especially those that are very fastidious, things like the streps. They're not able to grow on mannitol salt because of that high salt concentration. Mannitol salt auger is differential based on mannitol fermentation. Mannitol is a sugar, and this auger contains both mannitol and also phenol reb, which is a pH indicator. When organisms are able to ferment mannitol, they will break down that sugar and produce acid as a byproduct. And when they produce acid, that will, in, that will work with that pH indicator to change the color of the auger. Here you can see Staph aureus growing on a mannitol salt plate. And you can see that the plate is now very, very bright yellow, which is indicative of mannitol fermentation. So when organisms can ferment mannitol, they change the plate from this red to this really bright yellow color. Organisms that are able to grow on mannitol salt auger but not ferment mannitol grow on the plate, but the plate stays a more red color. Here you can see staph epidermidis growing on a mannitol salt plate. The plate almost takes on a little bit more of a pinkish hue. So you can see the growth, but you can see that there is no bright yellow color.